Put forward a plan to stop it. My, my opponent, opponent has no plan to end government, government corruption. Because, because she is the embodiment of government corruption. The embodiment. The best evidence that our system is rigged is the fact that Hillary Clinton, despite her many crimes, was even allowed to run for president in the first place. True. Hillary bleached and deleted 33,000 emails, lied to Congress under oath, made 13 telephones disappear, some with a hammer, and then told the FBI she couldn't remember 39 different times. That the leadership of the FBI and the Department of Justice let Clinton off the hook for her crimes against our nation is one of the saddest moments in the history of our country. And we have to investigate the investigation, folks. Just today, there are shocking new revelations, which you've seen. Front page of the Wall Street Journal, about how the Clinton campaign has corrupted our government. It was just learned that one of the closest people to Hillary Clinton, with long-standing ties to her husband and herself, gave more, this just came out, gave more than $675,000 to the campaign of the spouse, the wife, of the top FBI official who helped oversee the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's illegal email server. and deleted 33,000 emails, lied to Congress under oath, made 13 phones disappear, some with a hammer, and then told the FBI she couldn't remember 39 separate times. She couldn't remember. You know, her memory's a little bit off. We've also just learned that one of the closest people to Crooked Hillary, with long-standing ties to her and her husband, gave, listen to this one, folks. You know, we wonder, how did she get away with this crime when a four-star general, James Cartwright, four-star, one of the most respected men in the military, lied to the FBI once. He said he did it for national security purposes, and I can understand that. He lied one time to the FBI, and now they're going to put him in prison, perhaps for five years. It just happened yesterday. So, 
Listen to this song. Hillary Clinton bleached and deleted 33,000 emails, lied to Congress under oath, made 13 phones disappear, some with a hammer, and then told the FBI she couldn't remember 39 times. The Clinton crew gave more than $675,000 to the wife of the deputy FBI director overseeing the investigation into Hillary's illegal server. We need to reopen the investigation. Thank you very much. We love New Hampshire, I can tell you that. I need to open with a very critical breaking news announcement. The FBI has just sent a letter to Congress informing them that they have discovered new emails pertaining to the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's investigation. And they are reopening the case into her criminal and illegal conduct that threatens the security of the United States of America. Hillary Clinton's corruption is on a scale we have never seen before. We must not let her take her criminal scheme into the Oval Office. I have great respect for the fact that the FBI and the Department of Justice are now willing to have the courage to right the horrible mistake that they made. This was a grave miscarriage of justice that the American people fully understood. And it is everybody's hope that it is about to be corrected. So that is a big announcement that I heard 10 minutes ago. And I guess, obviously, most of you folks have heard about. And in all fairness, for all of the people that have suffered for doing so much less, including just recently, four-star General James Cartwright, General Petraeus, and many others, perhaps finally justice will be done. With that being said, the rest of my speech is going to be so boring. Should I even make the speech? We will talk about borders, right? We will talk about trade. 
We'll bring back our jobs. We'll strengthen our military. And let's get going, okay?